Hey everybody, welcome to episode number 68 of What's the Pepper series. Today I have another very special pod to show you. And this is the sibling of uh, my Scarlet Rose. And uh, it came out orange, so I don't have a name for it yet. But it's basically the same thing as the Scarlet Rose. This is a cross between uh, an MOA and a Bahamian goat. And it's also cousin to the Lemon Starburst. So they all look exactly or somewhat very similar. So I'll show you that shortly. Um, let's go outside and take a look at the plant. And then we'll come back, cut this open, and uh, give it a try. All right, guys. Here is what the cousin of the Scarlet Rose looked like. And uh, it's a very beautiful plant. It looks just like uh, its cousin, uh, and uh, as well as the lemon starburst. They all look exactly the same. They grow the same, and they produce basically the same amount of pods. So anyway, today we're going to look at the lemon starburst, the scarlet rose red, and then we're also going to pick the peach one so that you can take a look and then compare the differences. They look very similar. so. Here it is, the peach one, and they they grow exactly the same way. It's like down on, under uh, underside here. You see a bunch of uh, uh, pods. It's the same as uh, how the scarlet rose red grows. So here are the leaves. The plant can get massive. I mean, if you give it space, they can grow very large. So. Um, they also are very heavy producer under the right condition so under like 85 75 to 85 they produce a lot okay let's pick uh, a few fruits here and then we'll go inside and try it out and then we'll pick the red ones as well so you can see uh, let's see here they are so let me pull them out see there it is take another one that's the other one there okay let's go over here and pick some red ones and some lemon starburst as well so you can see see the lemon starburst uh, comes in different shapes uh, that one has a crazy stinger there and this one just looks like a bonnet with a kind of thicker stinger and then this one here looks just like the one we just picked so let's pick this one here see there still very beautiful looks exactly the same bumpy texture and all that so let's pick a red one as well so the red ones are all the way down there so. see there so we'll, we'll grab a few So here's the red one. They usually look like a saucer like this. All right, here they are. See how they look very similar. So let's take these inside and uh, we'll try it out and see how good they are. All right, guys, here is a closer look at the pods. And the one we're looking at today is the Scarlet Rose uh, sibling. And here is the Scarlet Rose here, original red color. And as you can see, when I flip it this way, it looks like a rose, so that's why I call it that. And originally, this was a cross between an MOA Scotch Bonnet and a Bahamian Goat. And the MOA that I use to cross these uh, have been grown for a long time by me and I selectively saved seeds over the years and then I, I finally decided to cross both of these so um, I, when you try to cross it, it, it may look different I'm not sure but um, th those are the two crosses you can try um, try out for yourself do it both ways and here is the lemon starburst also the cousin to that so it's the, it's the other cross and uh, this one is a little bit green, so uh, that's why there's a, some shade of green right there. I picked it a little early. That's, uh, that's fine. They, you could still save seeds for uh, pods like these. But uh, here they are. Uh, these two are siblings here. They look exactly the same except the color. There's the texture, the shape, um, basically the lobes and everything like that. See, they're very similar, just different color. 
So um, I've sent a few uh, seeds of these out already. I think Jay, uh, he's on Pepper Lovers Community, is the only one that has the orange variety. And a bunch of people have this already. And these are also, a lot of people are growing this as well. So if you come to PLC, you will see a lot of picture being posted for these. So anyway, let's cut them open, uh, or this one open, and take a look inside. So uh, here it is, the pods there. Uh, the original, the red one is very sweet. It's very tasty, not too spicy. Uh, there is heat, but it's not as hot as the lemon starburst. So uh, lemon starburst have been reviewed by a few people. So I'll, I'll find the links to those videos so uh, you can check them out yourself. Oh man, where's my gloves? Anyway, let's, I just picked this, so nice and fresh. That's, that's the way you should eat pepper. Just pick it and eat it. Um, if you store it a little bit, then they become a little softer. So if you buy in the store, they usually pick them early and then shipping and all that stuff. So it's not as good as when you have it in your garden. You see how crunchy that is? Look at that. So you see the inside is very, is very similar to a Bahamian goat. And uh, there's the white placenta, good amount of seeds, thick wall, very nice and crunchy. Um, let's see the, uh, let's see how it smells. Yeah, smells very tropical, just just like a Scotch bonnet. Uh, you have that nice uh, citrusy, a little sweetness, and there, I can detect some heat. So um, let's cut a piece and try it out. There it is. All right, guys, here it is. Uh, Scarlet Rose Peach. <laughs> I'll, I'll think of a, a name for that uh, soon. But um, as I mentioned, it is the sibling to the uh, Scarlet Rose. It's the same thing. I, when you grow them out, you may get different variations. So keep those and start and keep growing them. So then you, you have different colors, but they're basically the, the same. So uh, here it is. Let's, uh, let's, let's give it a smell one more time. I can see a lot of oil on here. It smells a little hot. Yes, it smells very similar to the lemon starburst. Um, the scarlet rose wasn't very hot, so um, I'm, I'm thinking this may be about the same. So... Wow, very sweet. Mmm, really good. Has a nice citrus tone, just like the... Wow, this is very, very sweet. It's almost like you're eating a fruit. Not much heat. There's heat, but it's, it's not much heat. Tastes exactly like this, the Scarlet Rose. Mmm, I can already imagine how good this would be in my hot sauce. Nice tropical flavor, uh, very sweet immediately. That's a little bit of a, of, of a kick. Let me eat some more towards the placenta area. So I'll cut, I'll cut this in half. Um, I, gotta have, I gotta save these seeds because <laughs> these are the only two I have right now. There's a bunch of flowers on there so far, but because the heat is so crazy this year, they, they, they all pretty much dropped. But these two are the only one that stuck. So here it is with more placenta. Mm, a little spicier, very sweet. A little bitterness from the placenta. Mm. Definitely remove the placenta. Wow, there's heat now. A lot of heat. So I ate basically half of the pepper. Let me clean my hand off. <laughs> Very good heat, manageable. Um, <laughs> warm chest. Okay, so towards the placenta, you're gonna get a lot more heat. Like 
like a, a lower end of the scotch bonnet heat. I'm salivating right now. Yeah, so. <laughs> so most of the time I eat um, peppers, I usually um, avoid the placenta part. That's where the, uh, the capsaicin is stored, is the oil gland. So it's it's very hot and sometimes sometimes in certain varieties very sweet and some in certain variety is very bitter. This one has a little bitterness right when you bite into the placenta, but then it goes away quickly. <clears throat> but if you avoid the placenta area, it's completely sweet. It's like a fruit. This is probably what the sweetest pepper I've had this year. <clears throat> Last year, I had one uh, that was sent to me from Jay. Uh, he sent the red M away, and that was very, very sweet. It's a great pepper to make hot sauce with. So most of the uh, Scotch bonnet or the M away, those are usually my favorite because they, they taste very tropical, like nice thick wall, good citrus flavor. I love the sweetness in uh, in these peppers, and those are usually the ones that are that I use as a base for my sauce. I use those, and then I put a few more super hot in, like the the Reapers or my own uh, the Staracha Hornet. That would kick it up a notch, and uh, you get good sweetness, good flavor, and then spiciness. Yeah, it, it pretty peaked. So, uh, if I were to guess how hot this is, i say between 150,000 to 200,000, on the lower end of like the habanero. It's still hot, but uh, it's very good, good heat. So you can actually give it to people that don't, that can't handle too much of the of spice. Remove the placenta and they, they probably can eat it just fine. Gorgeous pods. They they grow pretty big. Uh, the bumpy texture seemed a little scary, but once you cut it open, you smell it, taste it. It's it's not that bad. <laughs> Most of the ones that are bumpy, they're very spicy. But uh, the ones that have thin skin, like the Reaper, the Ghost, uh, some of the other thin variety, man, those the thin varieties with bumps, those are the hottest one I've ever had. Anyway guys, <clears throat> that is all for the, this video. Uh, I have yet to uh, think of a name, but if you have suggestion, <laughs> please put it in the comment. And uh, thank you for watching. And um, come to Pepper Lovers community. There's a lot of things happening. People are posting pots. Because this time of the year is harvest time, so you will see the most beautiful peppers uh, that you may not see anywhere else. And I mean, there's pictures. and. People trying them out, trading seeds. Uh, there's a lot of stuff happening. Uh, also, if you visit KCD Garden, you can also talk to me there. Uh, I get a lot of questions and I can't answer them in time. And sometimes it just slip past and, I, and then I, I don't get it. So I apologize if I don't answer some of the questions. Uh, but um, if you go to PLC, Pepper Loves the Community, uh, you can talk to me there. I usually respond pretty fast because I check that place the most. And then you also can go to KCD. There's a chat system. You can chat to me directly. Anyway, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching.